come to try Shavali here and really very good. Shavali is always good, but I think the chutney is what does the magic here. A mix of cheese balls, aloo paratha and a momo. So it's like, it's very different and it's very tasty at the same time. My palate feels so blessed right now and I'm in love with these momos. It's so cheesy. And this is Coca-Cola Hunger Hut. Hey everybody, you're watching Coca-Cola Hunger Hunt and today I'm here at Ramhiti Chok. You'll reach our coffin and Ramhiti. Today I'm going to a restaurant where a monk, an elephant, a beautiful garden and delicious meals await the arrival of hungry souls where you can water and nourish yourself and spend some quiet time in self-reflection completely unruffled and conflict-free. To reach the restaurant, I just have to cross the road and you will see a big board where the name of the restaurant, Sattva, is written. At Sattva, hungry souls can nourish themselves with some gorgeous aloo cheese momos and spend some quiet time in self-reflection at the E2E's garden. Hi Benson, how are you? Good, how are you? Uchu? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Welcome to my restaurant. Yeah, thank you. How's the monk and the elephant doing? They're doing very good apart from the sun and the rain. Okay. Please have a seat. Thank you. Please have a seat. Sure, thank you. Yeah, thanks. I think this place is so cozy, neat, tidy, and everyone is so friendly here. I just love this place. Thanks. Menu? Thanks. This is, this is very easy. I, I'll go uh, for uh, shafale and okay. aloo cheese momo. Yeah, I've perfect. not tried it before. So Thanks. first, we, uh, maybe you can try shafale first. Yeah. And meanwhile, okay. aloo cheese momo. Yeah. Ready. All right. Is Thanks. That okay? Yeah. Thank you. So, in addition to the homely taste of Satwa's delicacies, the quality and hygiene too are impeccably maintained and the service is unlike anywhere else in Balga. All the based eateries, Sattva is not expensive. A family run eatery situated at a lesser known and more peaceful part of Bautha. Now, if you're wondering where the monk and the elephant are, you see them right behind me. They're so cute, right? Oh, thank you so much. Dip. Yeah, thank you. So here is my shafale. It looks warm. I mean, it is warm. It looks big and gorgeous. And these are the dips. This is the tomato chutney. This is the coriander and green chili chutney. You know what, I knew it by the aroma that my food was here. Anyway, let me just dig in. Mm. You know, the mint is spectacularly juicy. And the crust is so fresh here. Sattva prepares northern Nepali recipes straight from the family's kitchen. And this one is a little spicy. It gives you a very minty taste. It's very fresh. The dough is not that thick and the minced meat, the kima is just so good. It's fresh, there's more meat, less onion. First 
first you encounter the crunchy crust, after which there is this juicy, I mean, very well spiced minced meat, which makes your palate just so happy. You will have to come to this place to try out this. I mean, Chavali is always good, but I think the chutney is what does the magic here. This tastes really very homey. Like Sonam's soft, kind spirit in nature, her aloo cheese momos too are mellow and heartwarming. Moderate size with moderately seasoned stuffings filled with butter and cheese both of which melt and combine with mashed potatoes inside the steamer. And at Sattva, she's found the perfect excuse to keep herself busy throughout the day, cooking for her family and other guests. Wow, this, this looks steaming. Thanks. I've never had aloo cheese momo before and I am so excited to eat, but I think it's, it's raining, so let me rush inside. <laughs> Momos look delicious. I cannot wait to eat them. And yeah, my chutney phone, thanks. Thank you. So this is my aloo cheese momo. It smells so good, but you know, the aroma is unfamiliar because I've not eaten aloo cheese momo before. This looks big and gorgeous and a good deal for the price. It feels so blessed right now, and I'm in love with these momos. It's so cheesy. It's creamy, no lumps, and mildly salted. And they're almost custardy with melted cheese. Things has a blend of flavors, mildly seasoned, making it a generous, nourishing daytime meal. I feel blessed having these delicious delicious homey food, shafale like I've never had before, and these delicious momos, they're just awesome. So now I'm gonna sit and finish my delicious food, but before that I must say the chutney packs a very good kick of flavors. I'm in love with these flavors. Satwa ko cheese momos sema like dhumi mon paryo, garmi banai ko khal ko chai na. It tastes very fresh, especially your dhania or green chili sauce. It's unlike anything that I've tasted before. It has a lot of aloo ko flavor and cheese. Ko pani so it's like a mix of cheese balls and aloo paratha and a momo. So it's like, it's very different and it's very tasty at the same time. As a vegetarian, it's really hard to find a good place to get a veg momo. When I came here, it's too meat. It's different pani. I mean, the chutney and everything, it, it goes really well with it. I was and they were making savale, and the reason is oil was so fresh, and like meat was fresh too, and just hygienic, so I need as savale, like 80 meters, and like achara rupani, like ramro, so I need like tomato and like one coriander. I have come to try savale here, and this has like the perfect blend of buff keema, coriander, onions, and everything, you know? Like, very little spices in it. Satwa ko buff chili ma la ekdami mitilayo. It's very special. It's like, it's too juicy tha, and spicy tha. And the ambience is also quite homely. It's very friendly. It's been a while since we opened this Satwa garden restaurant, where people can come and enjoy good food, healthy food, with relaxed ambience. Our food consists of Nepali and Tibetan homely style food and uh, it is prepared 
under the supervision of my mom and with a lot of care and love. And also it is, uh, it is in a very uh, relaxed ambience with uh, overlooking this beautiful garden. We have a very uh, reasonable section of prices in the food menu. That was it for today on Coca-Cola Hunger Hunt. I'll see you next week with more of our interesting Nepali eateries. And remember, you can now read, watch and listen to our stories on our official website that is www.mnsvmac.com. So yes, until next week, keep smiling, stay happy and keep eating. Bye. We live around countless stories. Stories waiting to be discovered. Discover them through us, through our words, our lens, our voice, on any platform you like. Because we know what you prefer. Get your stories from MNS VMAG. Read, watch, listen.